I am William Rosov. I'm an artist, an artist in sculpture, painting, and graphic art, and mostly work with language and conceptual art types things. But I don't really know what conceptual art is anymore. I just do what I like. It's just uh, how you think, how you are, rather than what you do. You can't put art in a box. It runs wild and free. The moment you can define it, it seems to die. My studio has lots of, a, a large collection of items. And um, they help me to think. They help me to make up my mind about what's good and bad in the art, but also about what's right and wrong in, in life. And I thought then, this is kind of an artwork in itself, all these weird things that I've got. So eventually I developed a little performance where I am in my studio or in my study with all these things. The computers are going and I'm writing dictionaries and I am showing people my photographs of trees and my studies with plants. So I invented a cubicle type space where I can put all the things out and I sit in the cubicle for a few weeks and I call myself Big Druid in his cubicle. For me, if a plant that I know that I've looked at carefully, if that should suddenly vanish, it would be like a friend that dies or that would feel terrible. Now you've got them already. You have to now look harder and harder to find new names to add to your list. So it's become really hard. It's 15,000 and that was Garden of Words 3. It was a, a garden outside with 1,000 flower, flowers in a flower bed and 15 flower beds. I used this little red cup to suggest those poppies that the soldier people put in their blazers and to commemorate the, the, the people who had died in the war. So on top of the poppy, yeah, this little handkerchief as a name of a plant that I had studied. And the handkerchief is there with its name because when you cry, you take out your handkerchief and you wipe the tears. So it's like a device of, of sadness. Plants. People can see what it might look like if half the plants on the red data list would vanish. I do not belong to a philosophy. I do not belong to a political party or a church. I don't belong to a club or a movement. I just do what I think is right now. Right now. I want to belong to everyone. I don't believe in boundaries. I want to be everywhere. I want to be all things to all people. If I have to choose my life again, I will, there's nothing else for me. I will be a fine artist. I can be nothing else and do nothing else than to look at the world critically, to have a point of view, to read books that are challenging, and to, and to not be compromised by politics and opinion. But that's hard, but that's what I want. And I think it's very hard <coughs> to, do, to be a fine artist. My advice to young people is, young artists is, don't stop. If you stop, you've wasted all of that. If you carry on and on, and if you believe in yourself, um, eventually other people will believe in you too.